Jacob Shepherd. Thank you very much, Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, honored guests, and family members, and especially Teresa. Thank you very much for allowing me to come here tonight and evaluate you, and I'd like to share what I saw with the audience and with you, Teresa. I'm going to start off with some things that I thought you did really well, some things I think that you can improve upon. I'll recap those and I'll leave you with something that I'm going to take away with me personally. The very first thing that I thought you did really good is you had lots of great hand and arm movements. You raised your hands above your head, you used your hands in interesting ways, and all of that helps the audience to get into the speech with you. So we're there with you, we're going along with you, and you keep us engaged that way. The second thing I thought you did really well is you had a lot of high energy in this speech. You kept it going throughout the speech. We were entertained through the whole thing. There was never a dull part where you're just kind of looking around and going, what's this speech about? Anyway, you, you kept us engaged the whole time. And the third thing that I thought you did great is you added a lot of amanatopoeia in your speech. You had these sounds in your speech. And this is a great environment to, to have that, because just as we remember pictures more than we remember written words, we remember sounds more than we remember speeches. So you're going to help to cement that speech into our minds with the use of those homononopia. Now the three things that I think that you can improve upon, you have to be cognizant of your audience, and when you crouch down at the beginning, a short person like myself, who's sitting towards the back of the audience, wouldn't be able to see you. And that's something that you're going to want to keep in mind. Now, this is a flat seating space, which it makes it more difficult. If it was a raised platform, that would be better. But given the space that you're at, maybe crouched less would have been more. Also, when you're making a list, and there were a couple of times that you made lists for us, you just simply stuck out your hand. And so we didn't know that you were actually going to make a list. But if you can make, you know, show us your fingers, one, two, three. When you're making a list, it cements in our mind that you're making a list and we need to pay attention to these points. And the last one that I thought that you can improve upon if you're going to give the speech in the future is you gave us a statistic. You said you lose 30% of your productivity when you're moving from event to event but you didn't tell us the source of that. And a naturally skeptical person like myself, I'm going to wonder where that came from. So to recap, I thought you did have a lot of energy, used great hand and arm movements, and the onomatopoeia help us to remember your speech, that you could have crouched less and would have been easier to see you, and making a list, show your fingers, and give us the source of your statistics. Now the thing that I'm going to take with me is your analogy, the marble to be that marvel that you used at the beginning. I don't use many analogies, and I know that they can be helpful in a speech, and I'm going to use that in, in the future, or at least that skill of the analogy. Thank you very much, Teresa.